like hi you guys i'm back with another video <laughs> But today, I'm just coming on here doing a get ready with me while I chit chat about rebranding or branding just as a whole for this channel while I get ready for my other videos. But also, I wanted to take like a professional looking picture today so I could redo my resume. I am going to do my resume on Canva. I'm going to try that out. I do everything on Canva, so I might as well. Because I need a job, but I can't just go back to work in in a store how I was. Because it even, it sounds crazy saying it out loud. But four kids is definitely way different from three. And three is way different from two. So it would just be too much for me to go back to the store, back to retail. But I need to go back to work because of finances the state that the world is in today is just it makes me so anxious it's making my anxiety go up so bad and i'm trying to be hopeful and positive and all that um so yeah go follow my new well it's not new it's an additional instagram and twitter i will leave the accounts here but i'm trying to stay positive because really that's all you can do but i've been thinking a lot about what i really want for this channel and what direction i really want this channel to go in this is a hobby of mine it is not a career yet i don't know if it'll ever be because there are definitely excuse me y'all i'm sick but there's definitely other things that I want to do with my life outside of social media and making videos. But I've come to find that making, making videos for me is a good creative outlet for me. And that's why I really like doing it. I really enjoy getting on here and talking because I like to talk. I remember I was talking to my friend and he was just like, yeah, you talk a lot. And I do. And since I don't have a lot of people that I talk to, I find that talking to the camera is is my way of, it's, kind of, it's like therapy for me. It's my way of talking things out and kind of like strategizing with myself and pepping myself up. Especially when I do my makeup and it come out cute. And I'm like, yes, girl. And then I, I make myself laugh. It's so corny how I would get on here and say something crazy. And then go back and look at it and be like, girl, you stupid. <laughs> but I really enjoy doing these videos. So I'm going to continue to do them. Even if I don't find you know my tribe my fans or my supporters or even if there aren't that many of them because i appreciate every single view i get even if a video gets one view i really i'd be so bucked up about that view and i'd be so happy that anybody would take the time to even click on my video and find me entertaining but i do want to make my videos better and just get better as I well, you know, as I progress and learn different things, learn different techniques, get better, get a better setup. Cause I know this is so ghetto, y'all. But get a better setup and just show y'all my true self. Cause that's that's all it's really about. Showing y'all my true self, which is crazy. I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to have my name be because I know I change it a lot. It's just very difficult to find a name that stands out, but it's still, you know, isn't a mouthful, isn't just out there. That's kind of easy, catchy, and things like that. It's, it's hard to come up with something like that when 
you have a very common name like mine. My first name, my middle name, and my last name is very common. I remember being in middle school and someone had the exact same name. Someone was Courtney Smith. And they gave me her schedule. So I was following her around for like a day or two until we figured it out that they gave me her schedule instead of my own schedule. The name Courtney is just so common. Smith is very common. It's, I don't know why Mitty did that to me, but she did. And my married name isn't any better. And Kevin tells me, oh, well, you should look into like coming up with a name or something like that. But I'm like, I want to be known for my name. Because if I come up with a name and, and go by a fake name, I'm not going to feel like myself. And I do know that anything I do is going to be authentic. That is definitely like my thing. I don't lie. I'm a true Aries. I just do not give a flying flip enough to lie I, I and i don't like liars i'm all about telling the truth and being honest and being real and transparent and authentic so anything i do that is going to be you know my thing so going by a different name i'm just not gonna feel like myself and i actually do love my name as common as it may be basic betty i just want to brand my my channel with something that's going to stand out but last the the test of time it, it, there's just a lot that i've been contemplating when thinking of what i want to do for my channel for the name what kind of videos i want to post lately i've been doing a lot of vlogs because I think that's kind of how I started out, just vlogs. Even though I do not do anything remotely interesting. What is interesting is the things that happen to me. My stories be true. And the things that my kids say and do is... oh, that That's what make my life interesting, my kids. And I, I would like to show them on the channel. Because they're so darn cute and funny but i don't want my channel to be about them so i mean i don't know but that's who i am i'm a mom but being a mom does not define me as a person i'm multifaceted so there's just a lot of things that i'm good at a lot of things that i'm interested in a lot of things that i want to do and i've always had a hard time really deciding what i want to do i have makeup somewhere else too i just do not know where the container is. Why well, not the container but the bag? Where is the bag? Where's the bag, Co? Where's the bag, Co? Cause I do not have an eyeshadow primer, y'all. My makeup collection is so down bad. I see the bag. I gotta get up and get it. But there's just so yeah, like I was saying, there's just so many things that I wanna do. I do wanna continue to do vlogs and sharing my life because i, I want to get out more and do more things it's just you know with covid and being a busy mother who has to work to support herself and her kids and still having to protect my mental health I, i've been busy so trying to get good content in is difficult especially when you don't really have a lot of funds to spend on things like that. Because as of right now, I'm a stay-at-home mom, you guys. And I like it per se. I wouldn't mind being a stay-at-home mom if I had a job on the side of that. Because like I said, I do not want to be just a mother. I was, and I was telling my counselor this. I was like, I know I was made to be more than just somebody mama. God did not put me on this earth and was like, okay. You're going to be someone's mother. That's it. That's all. Once you have them. Yeah. That, yeah. I don't, I don't want to live that type of life. I'm trying to be quick because I really don't have a lot to say. Well, not really. I have a lot to say. I always have something to say. I just do not want to be on here rambling. And also, like I said, I have other videos that I want to film. I, I still, I want to do vlogs. I just do not think my life is really that interesting as of as of now 
because the moments that are interesting it's just I don't want to share them because they're either just so horrible so personal or just so something and the funny moments that happen with my kids don't get caught on camera because I do I take a lot of pictures of my children especially my little honeybee but I don't have my phone you know on my camera all day I have my phone I'm on my phone a lot but yeah you gotta be quick with these kids because it'll literally just be random and out there I'm not really a prankster I did a prank on Kevin with Brielle but I'm not really a prankster I don't I don't think pranks is is my zhuzh I really like this palette like neutral colors I'm trying to simplify my life and that's another thing with colors branding my channel with colors is hard for me because I like the rainbow I I my favorite color changes with the with the weather it some days I'm like yes honey I'm I'm red I'm a fire sign so it's red then other days I'm feeling girly and feminine so it's pink and other days I'm like you know what that yellow is popping and I gravitate towards yellow then I have my moments where I'm just you know nude is the mood so it's really hard for me to pick one thing and to tone things down because I would I definitely was about to go too dark with this eye look and I do not want to do that because I need to get hired. I need somebody to hire me. I need somebody to look at my resume and be like, she look like she her customer service be serving. And they do, baby. Let me tell you. Because other people, customer service ain't been servicing. But I am a strong, firm believer in customer service. So, yeah. It's just... Ugh. And doing these kind of videos, I do not know what to say. And I just be saying anything and everything and i'd be all over the place so y'all could imagine what my counseling sessions be like and that's why conversations with me be lit i would really be on the phone running it and you would have you a good old time because i would keep you laughing and it would not get boring unless you ask me what i'm doing a million times but trying to stay on topic on these type of videos is hard for me but i like doing them because I like talking about things. And I don't really want to do a podcast. Because I do not like doing what everybody is doing. Once everybody starts doing stuff. It turned me off. I don't. I don't. And I don't want to be that type of person. Where I'm like. Oh. If somebody has it. I don't want it. But I do like to be. Not so basic. And I was telling Kevin recently. We had a, a conversation about this. And I was telling him. I'm still finding myself. So trying to brand a channel is like i'm discovering you know i'm i'm parenting my my channel while i'm parenting myself or building my channel and building my brand while i'm branding myself and building myself i am 28 years old and i'm still trying to find myself i don't know if it's just me but i do feel like people have to constantly find themselves because you're you're a new person and things that you accepted in your past, you might not accept now, or you might not feel the same way after being about something, after actually going through the experience. So I don't believe I'm the only person that's finding myself. I do believe, though, that it's hard to find yourself in this day and age when they're, like everyone's an influencer. So there's so much influence out there, and everybody is hopping on trends it's almost like you have to be a sheep and follow the trends in order to pop so it is really hard to find yourself and and find what makes you uniquely you in the age of the influencer but i definitely i definitely love i like to do my own thing and not follow anyone else if everybody's doing something i do not want to do it but it's very hard to find things that's not, well, that hasn't been done now. And I feel like everyone is using the spelling, you know, um, like spelling the word with E-A-U-X. Is that right? I don't even know how to spell my own name. 
everybody is using it so a part of me is like do i do i still want to go by code or do i just want to brainstorm and think of something completely different because like i said i want it to be my name or something because I, I do want to build something outside of youtube or outside of social media period that is mine well i want to build something that has my name on it that i could pass down to my kids because i i want to build something that's gonna outlast me but it still has has my name on it because i don't know about y'all but i i want i want to be remembered as somebody great like i i don't want to just go through life saying that i lived I died and that was it like there really wasn't anything significant in between i want to leave behind a legacy and i feel like when people talk about legacy they think about men but i do feel like a woman could leave a legacy behind i do not want to be like a man but i do believe i can leave a legacy behind and i can leave something behind for my children like i, I like using smith because for one Marriages don't always last. Um, I like the fact that I can use my husband's last name. It's just it's interesting to me taking taking like my husband's last name because it's like I had one last name my whole life and then one day it's like different. But it's still me. So I find that cool. And my daughter's have like, that's my daughter's last name. But I also want to have something with my son's last name, even though I've never had their last name. I just, I want something to, to represent me that I could give to my children and they, they will always remember me. Something I could pass down. I don't just want to pass down bags and, like, I actually want to pass down something and actually have something to my name. So that's what I'm doing kind of with this channel. It's more so just a, what do you want to call it? It is more so just a hobby for me right now. But I still do want to take it serious. So I'm going to find myself through this channel and do things that I like doing. And then having, you know, the people, my people find me. But in order to find my in order for my people to find me, I have to find myself first. So that's why I've been rebranding a lot, trying out different things, different sounds, different color schemes, different types of videos. I've, I've been trying all kinds of stuff. There's, there's so many things that about me that I want to show to the world, but I do not know how to do that in just one channel so my dilemma or not even really a dilemma but my thing is how do i show people every part of me well not every part but how do i show people the different sides of me in one channel so i kind of have this idea of having it like um you know like tv because when you think about it tv is filled with so many different things you have your serious stuff like uh, reality TV, documentaries, crime TV, but then you have your entertainment. So I, I don't know. So I'm on social media, I'm trying to post more, but in order to do that, I need to get dressed up more and actually do something like I used to do and take pictures and things like I used to do and shop like I used to do. And if there's one thing that I know, that is gonna be on this channel that is definitely the hauls because baby your girl be shopping yeah but i i love shopping i don't know what it is but i love shopping so for the most part i know it's definitely gonna be hauls and vlogs i am a self-proclaimed shopaholic when i tell y'all i'm making it worse and worse lord get it together smith what are you doing is there anybody else who feels like, well, I know, I know there is. Y'all can lie to yourself or try to lie to me and say that y'all don't, but comparing yourself to other people. Cause I be comparing my makeup skills to other people's makeup skills. And I be like, dang, they make up really popping. Like how do that, that beat look so natural? And I'm over here looking like 
I'm over here looking like a hooker that just worked a nine to five. It looks so crazy. But yeah, so the good thing about starting over is you can see that on my channel. Like you guys are going to see the real process of what it looks like for someone to get their life together after hitting rock bottom. You are going to see the ups and downs. And it's basically going to be asking a question like, what would I do differently if I knew better? Because I do know better now. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to say that because I still make some purchases where I just be like, what the? But you're going to see that. I'm going to give my honest review on things. Because if I find something I like, baby, I will tell you guys. Just don't sell it out before I could get it. Like this. This foundation. Well, I had a lot of makeup. For my new makeup collection, I'm going to be downsizing. And I'm going to get a vanity before I buy any more makeup. I don't know. I have some makeup coming in. But I'm definitely I'm going to get a vanity before I buy any more makeup. Because I want to have somewhere to film it. Well, I, I'll explain that more when I buy it. But you're, you're going to see all that. And see me build my makeup collection back up. Because, y'all, I'm struggling. I have no makeup. I'm just going to be finding myself and making my mental health better because right now that is literally like my first priority making sure i'm good mentally because i'm not doing so good mentally you guys and i don't think people talk enough about that there really is just a big problem now with things being portrayed as if they are all good on the internet and in real life it's like it's just not that way and so when people look at that that perfect image and compare it to you know their raw footage of course it, you might get a little down it's hard to be encouraged when all you're seeing is the finished product where where is the the real the realness like all we all we're seeing is is birkin bags and louis and things like that but i don't know about about y'all i started with Forever 21 handbags. I had a handbag from the flea market. I didn't know it was designed at the time because I was really young. Like, I mean, I was still in high school. I want to say. And I was at the flea market with my brother. And I saw this bag. It was a knockoff Louis Vuitton Speedy. Well, obviously it was fake, but it was the black. I had that and I did not know it was a knockoff. I just liked the, the style of it. But as I got older, I started to get more into fashion and i started to buy brahmin like i bought brahmin before i even knew it was a designer like i said for my i treated myself to my 21st birthday but i have always been into fashion but you don't you don't start off buying well maybe some people do but look y'all i didn't start off buying louis vuitton and and things like that it takes time to build a collection. I don't know many people who are doing luxury hauls for $30,000 worth of stuff just working a regular job. So I don't know about anybody else, but seeing stuff like that, I'd be like, dang, like I want that bag. Knowing I'm going to have to save up for like some years to be able to afford that especially when i have other responsibilities like kids <laughs> and getting out of debt like do, I, I really i want to know where other people is in debt I, I can't be the only one in debt i know i'm not all these people talking asking joe biden to cancel their student loans i cannot be the only one in debt but they don't you don't really see that you see the people buying the houses, the couples taking trips and doing this and doing that. But I know from personal experience, the couple that look like they're happy, baby, they was just cursing each other out last night. But it's, it's really easy to look at, at the pictures of the happy couple and be like, dang, like I want that. But my number one thing that I have learned in life thus far in my 28 years of of life on this earth is to water your own grass that that would be my number one advice 
if I had to give my children one advice, it would be to water your own grass. Yes, that grass over there might look nice and manicured and it got the flowers blooming and everything looks sweet, but you don't know what's over there. So the only thing you can do if you want that is to water your own grass. That's why I am scheduling days off of social media, social media, social media regularly and focusing on, on me and my channel and not letting the naysayers get to me. Doing what I want to do. Because at the end of the day, if you listen to other people and you and you stay stagnant in life, you gonna be the one stuck and frustrated like I am now. I get very frustrated, especially with the decisions that I have made. Like the decision to do this to my eye, Lord Jesus, what was I thinking? I, I find myself getting very overwhelmed and frustrated with all these success stories and all this happiness and I'm still getting my life together. But in the words of, of Walter Trout Smith, everything takes time. And for me, a person that's not patient, that is so hard. Like, why can't I have it now? And you're seeing people in there now, but you don't know what they had to go through. And you you just don't know. Like, yo, yeah, they might have had it easier than you, but your struggle might make your reward better than what they have now. So you just have to trust the process. Stay in your garden and water your garden. Okay, Eve? That's another thing that y'all gonna see on my channel. I'm still gonna do my makeup on camera. Because I'm going to be doing my makeup way more as I build my collection back up. Yeah, it is, it's so hard. Like, if y'all see where I'm filming it, I, I know this, this looks so ghetto, but I don't care. I'm going to get my vanity soon. I found one that I love, 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 love. And I can't wait to get it. Doesn't that make for great content, though? Because I don't, I don't know. Is it just me or is a lot of the content, like, the same? Everybody's doing this fake self-care like they're like yes queen like i i do did my daily self-care if is your self caring really caring or is it just content is it real life or is it just content because they don't they, they don't be showing you everything and that makes me crazy do you really do that do you do that and it's like i really i need to know because I be trying to do cute things. Like today, me doing my makeup, I would say is 95% content. And 5% me needing to get a picture for a resume. Because most people aren't beating their face to, to go to a 9 to 5 job. Hmm, let's see, girlies, what else can we talk about? Like, what can we talk about that that isn't already that hasn't already been talked about? I really wish, like, I want to know how many people really watch my channel. I haven't seen my subscribers grow, so I don't know. But I'm definitely not doing everything that I should be doing. I ha I haven't been being a good content creator, you guys. I've been busy being a mom. And if I get a, a video out on Monday, like I plan and schedule with a thumbnail ready to go, then just know I had a good week. Cause baby, where where does the time go? I wanna I wanna know how the moms do it if they really do be doing it. Where they have this schedule and they follow this schedule and it, it's just everything is so perfect. Hey, like, how do y'all have white sheets? Cause I have to wash the sheets again or, or change the sheets. But I do want to wash my blanket. But how do, how do y'all do it? I really just need to know how, how does it get done? I want to have a white sofa and white sheets. But I, the way my kids set up, especially that Brooklyn, they girl don't listen. How, how do you do it? And then trying to do everything like right now. I'm really sick. And I don't want to film this video. But well, I don't want to film, period. I do not want to do my makeup. I just want to lay in bed and, and relax. But I haven't been able to do that because I've overwhelmed myself with just 
stuffing my phone, trying to, you know, worrying about social media and things like that. So I do think I'm going to take a break from social media on Tuesday. I'm going to give myself a break, honey, because I'm just, I'm, I'm getting worn out. Like trying to make sure everything is, is cohesive and and this goes with your feed. You hopping on a trend in the right amount of time. Things like that. It, it's exhausting. Worrying about your likes. Like I don't like my followers not going up. Trying to find my style of like I wanna I want a logo. But I'm gonna do it myself. If I could do it myself, baby, I'm gonna do it myself, especially since I'm creative and i know what i like i'm gonna do it myself so i'm trying to create like a, a logo a nice cohesive intro outro catchphrase like i don't want to just come on a video like hi you guys i'm back with another video i cannot wait to get in my vanity and find a setup that i like i just like so many things though it's so hard but it's slowly but surely coming together and i can't wait this video almost an hour long and i ain't said shit <laughs> did i really say anything of importance not really and i have to get my equipment and stuff together like, I'll, I'll do my makeup and stuff and then i'll be like yeah that's that's really bad but i be comparing it to filters and and apps i do not show myself enough compassion and I would say 40 followers, 45, 40 subscribers is, is a good number. I'm going to, I'm going to do it big for them 40 followers. Even if not all of them watch me. They might not even watch the whole video, but that's okay. I'm going to keep posting my videos because it's fun. And I know y'all love to see me. Even if y'all don't, I love to see myself. Not to sound conceited and bad you. I love having my videos on the internet, but I be I I have a problem with with filming because, like I said, I I'm a perfectionist, and if y'all don't know, perfectionism is a form of procrastination. So I'm a really big perfect perfectionist, but all I'm doing is procrastinating. So I have videos in my phone that should have been went up, went up. I'm talking like years old that i should have posted never did and i i tell myself like oh i need good lighting um a good camera a good expensive camera something fancy well yeah like i was saying so i just have i have videos so i be procrastinating i'm like i don't have a good place to film it's not the right time so i will push things back and then it just never gets done i'll start vlogmas or of vlogtober which i'm so excited for this year but i'll do vlogtober start it get to like day five and then i'll just be like and i'm definitely trying not to let my real life stuff get me down like i said y'all i i don't have that many followers i keep saying follow i don't have that many subscribers and someone said about me they was like oh she's doing them videos and it's not even bringing money in hater doesn't have to be bringing money in i'm going to get a job to bring money in a nine to five and i'm still gonna do this if i only get one view on the rest of my videos i'm still gonna do it with the same enthusiasm i can't even say that word the same enthusiasm as i would if i had a million views because i like doing my makeup and i like talking to myself and i like showing off the things that i buy and i'm gonna buy it regardless i shop even when i'm not filming videos and i buy the craziest thing yo. i buy things that is just so unnecessary so why not film it i think see this is why i say i like talking to myself on the camera because i'm like thinking to myself i'm like girl even if your makeup do come out bad you can still put the video out and still film when you do your makeup because you might do your makeup and it might be the best thing ever and then it, it, it would literally be me my luck that the time that i decide to film that i look like joanna man i look crazy and then the day that i don't film 
makeup come out absolutely gorgeous. Because, I mean, except for the wing, this really isn't bad. And my runny nose. Voila. She is done. She is photo ready. We're going to do it on the white background. You know, got to get the... Which, which side is my best side? Is it this side? This side, you could kind of, you could see the bun a little, but the wing messed up. This side, you don't really see the bun and I look bald head, but the makeup is giving. So, do I just, you know, give a little, a little of this? Like, that would happen to me. So, this side is going to be all natural, you know, give a little sultry this side is gonna be filtered down baby <laughs> i can already tell but yes thank you for watching if you made it to the end of my video thank you there definitely will be more videos to come i just want to get on here and chit chat a little bit while i do my makeup thank you for watching please do not forget to like and subscribe hope to see you in the next one is it giving is it giving is giving boy boy oh shit bitch